Joe Wicks, 37, has reaffirmed that he will never be on Strictly Come Dancing due to his terrible dancing skills and missing his family too much if he took on the challenge away from home. While discussing his reasoning for not doing the show, Joe told Express. UK that he would be as stiff as football legend Tony Adams if he ever signed up for the BBC show. Strictly Come Dancing has been filled with many famous faces over the years, however, fans will be upset to know that Joe will not be joining the lineup anytime soon. Express.co.uk asked Joe if he had ever been asked to do the show or whether he would ever take part. While shutting down rumors that he would ever compete in the Strictly Ballroom, Joe also took a shot at this year's contestant Tony Adams, who got very far on the show despite the judges' harsh criticisms. He said, Oh God! Well yeah, every year I get asked, every year for the past five years, but the truth is, I don't even like going away for a night away from my kids. I really miss them so the thought of going away for two or three weeks at a time just wouldn't happen really. So, yeah I will pass on that one. But I am also a terrible dancer. I mean I wish I had the confidence but I'm a really shocking dancer, so yeah, not for me that one. He remarked, I feel I would be as stiff and wooden as Tony on it. This is not the first time Joe has been left to shut down claims he would be taking part in the show, with him speaking to Radio Times about it last year. Rumors began to spread of his face being added to the lineup and Joe needed to shut down these claims. He said, I'm definitely not. Publicly dancing on a dance floor, out there and exposed on my own, is my worst fear. I can only ever really have a dance when I've had a drink, so to do strictly I'd have to be steaming. Joe has three children with his model wife Rosie Jones, whom he married in June 2019. The couple share two daughters and one son, with their youngest daughter, Lenny, being born in September. Joe recently put his fitness challenges to rest as he completed a 30-mile walk in 11 hours for children in need to help raise money for grassroots projects and local charities supported by the telethon. Sharing his fears before the walk, Joe admitted, I've never walked this far. I think the longest I have walked is 10 miles. So it's gonna be tough but I'm going to pace myself. I've got two pairs of trainers, I've got a few pairs of trousers and tops for if I get wet, to keep myself comfortable. I'm sure I will get through it and I'm looking forward to it. Joe, however, completed the walk in his stride and helped boost the grand total that children in need raised last month. The BBC One show ended with the announcement that a whopping £35,273,167 was raised directly from the TV appeal, with Joe making more than £500,000 of this from his ultramarathon. Joe is known for his fundraising efforts, making over £350,000 for the NHS during lockdown with his workout videos. If you want to donate to children in need visit their website, 